Do you want to make your live streams look more professional? Then you might want to add some graphics, some overlays on top of your live streams. For example, we are looking inside my restream.io account and we are in the live studio portion of the software at this point. So what I'm talking about is this kind of thing. And you've seen videos like this with graphics that show up on top of the screen. And this is a feature that you can add to your live streams to really take it to the next level. So this is sort of an example. They've got a funny a little Halloween themed one that's up here. So, you know, you can, you can uh, create something as creative as this if you want, or keep it simple with something like this that you could reuse, you know, day after day or week after week, depending on your content calendar and your schedule. So I'm going to show you how you can make something like this inside of your um, Canva account. I'm actually going to show you a couple of different examples. The first one that I just mentioned there looks like this inside my Canva account. So I could take this and I'll show you how to make this. You could download this, bring it into your live studio by clicking on the upload button and bring in something similar inside your live studio in, Re in Restream. So uh, you could use this with um, Ecamm would be a good example as well. So let's take a look uh, over here in Canva and how uh, we did this. So let's just say I'm gonna add a page here, okay? So I'm, I'm starting with a blank page. It's sort of a little bit of a beige color here because if it's, in fact, I can just go back here, just change this. If I change this to white, then you can't see that box at the top. That's why I kind of keep it a, a slightly muted gray just so that I can see the elements on the screen. So here we are, if we wanted to replicate something like this, uh, how I did this was by going over to elements, went to, uh, I think it was lines. I grabbed one of these uh, and take this and just bring this down to the new canvas here. Make this smaller. Let's make this like sort of that size and I'll duplicate it and I will turn the orientation. I gotta get to 90, don't I? Hang on, move it away here. There it is. Okay, and it's gonna connect those two things together. You see it doesn't line up perfectly. I'm just gonna use my arrow keys and move that over just a tad. Nope, it needs to come over just a bit. Maybe one more. Yep, there you go. And you can then change the color of these. Let's say we wanted them to be pink. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and pick. Now to create, recreate these boxes up here, I would probably just go over to the elements and I would go, um, you know, rectangle. Just find a rectangle. It depends on what style you want. I, I like to keep things simple. So I'm going to take, I don't know if they have a rectangle one in here. Oh, there's one here. Ooh, this is kind of cool. You can almost do like sort of an ombre type of, that might look kind of cool actually. Make that. Yeah, that might be kind of neat. So do that and then maybe add this one. Uh, I don't want a shadow. I don't want any shadow on that one. I don't know if I have the option. Let's see here. There we go. So something like that. Um, make this up here. Maybe take that. Put that up here. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to add our text. I'm going to make that white. And I will move that down into here. Oops. I'm gonna have this read whatever I want it to read. Um, on location. <laughs> and then um, I actually will make this, there we go, on location. And then maybe I wanna just duplicate that and bring this up here, 
turn the font black and then just go, you know, live. It, it can read whatever you want it to read. So these are lined up, but kind of like this. There we go. Okay. So, and then I might make this one just a little bit bigger. Um, let's say 21, 24. There we go. Just make sure those are lined up. And there you go. So, and then you can change the colors to whatever you want. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. So now you have something you're going to go to PNG, transparent background. Whoops, I just realized that I was. Okay, so PNG, transparent background. I want to only print page two. Done, download. And then I'm going back over to Restream and I'm going to now upload. that graphic. Where is it? There. Boom. Okay. So now I have this in my, oh, we've got a report already fixing it. Okay. Let's just see if, let's try it one more time. Maybe it's just a little glitch that they're having. There it is. Okay. So now this shows up. Whenever you are doing a live stream with Restream.io and you want to trigger, you can hide it or you can trigger and show your graphics on the screen. They will appear as you're doing your live. Another thing you can do, let's go back to Canva. Let's say you're using, you could even use this with Restream as well, or let's say Ecamm is another great tool that you can use to go live third party apps. You might want to create a style like this. So if I go over to this style, this is so pretend all this white here is you on the screen or whatever video it is that you're showing these graphics, these overlaid graphics will appear at the bottom. So I just created and designed this based on uh, an overlay that I saw someone else have and use. And I thought, Oh, I'm going to just go into Canva and, re and replicate that. So what I would do here, similar kind of a thing, I'm going to go over to the, uh, you know, the rectangles and I'm going to find, um, let's see, this one is a square, but I'm going to turn it into a rectangle, you know, so you're going to go here and let's see what, how did we have that? Yeah. Sort of a square there like that that a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, what else do I need? I need a line, right? I need a line. So it's going to take this line, turn the color yellow. Let's say, let's try and replicate what we already had going on over here at the top. So I'm changing this color to pink. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's make that thinner. There we go. Sort of something like that. And then, um, this one here, uh, what will we call that? It's, um, it's not a rectangle. I don't, I don't know if it's under rectangle. Let me just go in and take a look. So you have to scour through the different designs and you're going to design whatever you want. I mean, I'm just showing you an example of what you could do. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if it might also be called, um, banner maybe it could be under banner. Let's see here. Banner. Uh, I wonder if I can get a clue if I go over here and it shows, it doesn't really tell me. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I found this shape, but what I could do right now is I could just duplicate it and bring it down here so that we can see it, position it backwards. I think if I hunted around long enough, I would probably find it, but rather than making you watch the paint dry. Okay. So something like that, 
you know, the Instagram icon. You could, again, you could put Facebook, LinkedIn, anything here. Let's say you wanted to put your Twitter, then maybe you put this down at the bottom. And, and again, from a design perspective, do, do whatever suits you. Uh, let's go back to text. I'm gonna add uh, this in white. I'm trying to do this fairly quickly so that you can kind of get the, get the sense of it here, right? So that would be my name. And then you would just add your text in, you know, in here. Let's make that white and make it a little bit bigger. Um, you, obviously this is going to read whatever you want it to read. And then you could even just duplicate that and put something else below it. So you get the sense here of how you could, you know, create something similar to that. So once you're happy with it, let me go to this one here, since this one's complete, you're going to do the same thing. You go over to PNG transparent. I want to print number one. I'm downloading that. I could bring this back over to here and same idea. I don't know what's giving a little bit of a glitchy thing there. So let's just go back, we'll find it again. Hopefully this works. Might just be having a little bit of a glitch. There we go. And now you can have something like that. The next video that you should watch is uh, Canva animations. I've done a video that has uh, received a lot of views. I think you'll really enjoy it. So check out uh, that video next and I can't wait to see you there.